Hey, this is Mr. Reeve again, and I'm going to show you today how to make uh, the car from our previous tutorial, where this car moved with ASWD. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make the car throw something or shoot something. This um, effect can be used, the same technique can be used, for example, to have a couple players do a snowball fight or to kind of imitate um, somebody shooting something. So just to review where we were from the last tutorial, we had this car and all this car did was move with the ASWD keys and when we held down space we went faster. So first thing, let's make it shoot something. Um, before we go any further though, let's drop a dummy camera so that I can move the camera around a little bit. So if we hit uh, more controls here, drop a dummy camera this dummy camera will be called start. Now we can move around our camera at design time and we can always come back to that start. And even better, what we can do is grab the camera, set point of view to the start camera in duration of zero seconds. That way, no matter how I move this camera, when I start my program, it'll always start right where um, we want it to start. <coughs> okay, and we can also go to this camera too. If I right-click on the camera, methods, set point of view to the start camera, we can go back. So what we need is we need something to kind of shoot out of the car. This is um, going to maybe look a little funny. But uh, we can really choose any object we want. There are some kind of generic objects here. I think it's under shapes. Planets. Yeah, shapes. So these work well. Um, you can make a, you can shoot a cylinder, or in this case, let's let's choose a sphere. Uh, let's find our sphere. There it is. Now this sphere is kind of half underground, so let's raise it up. It's also huge. So let's make it smaller. We maybe don't want it white either. We probably want to kind of... Let's just say we want to shoot out of the middle of the car. That's fine. Um, go to properties and why don't we say that it's going to be red. That's good. Now, you can actually add some textures to this. Um, you can import a picture and it'll just wrap the sphere with that picture. So that's kind of a cool technique. You can kind of make it look wh like whatever you want it to look like. In our case, let's just use a red sphere. So the trick here for making this thing shoot. So when you think of shooting, you kind of think of, uh, you know, creating an object and firing it forward. And then if you want to shoot again, you'd create an ob another object and then, you know, shoot it forward. In Alice, uh, you can't really create objects like that. So everything in your world has to be pre-created. And the trick here then is, is we're just going to hide the object. It'll be a vehicle of the car. Actually, we can, we can even do that right now. So a vehicle to the car. And when we push a button, um, let's say... <coughs> we'll use, uh, I'm not sure what button, we'll think of that later. So when we shoot a button, what we'll do is we'll make the sphere visible and then we'll shoot it straight ahead. Now, if you continue to keep the vehicle of the, of the sphere to the car, while you continue to move the car, the sphere moves with it. So you actually have to unlink the uh, vehicle of the sphere at the time when you shoot it until you, you shoot it a certain distance away and then you immediately bring it right back to the car in zero seconds. See, the problem with this though is you can only be shooting one thing at a time. Now I have seen some students have like a multi-shot. They'll have like three or five kind of hidden spheres and when they push the, the space or when they push their shoot key, it kind of shoots them in order, you know, one, two, three, four, five, and then back to one, two, three, four, five. It's a little more complicated to do, but you, it is definitely possible. So let's get on with it then. So we want this sphere to be uh, start started off as invisible. So it's gone. And we need kind of um, 
uh, for the car, we're going to need a method called, let's just call it shoot. Okay, in this method shoot, we're going to do a few things. In case the bullet's not with the car at the moment, let's move the, uh, sorry, the sphere. Let's move the sphere to the car. Uh, we'll do move to the car. Let's just say the entire car. We'll do it in duration of zero seconds. So it'll move instantly. It'll move right to the car. Now what do we want it to do? Well, we want to make it visible. So change the opacity to 100% opaque. At this point, we probably want to also unlink the sphere's vehicle. So we're going to set it back to the entire world. Then we're going to move the sphere. Uh, it's really up to you how much you move it. Let's see what um, maybe 20 meters looks like. After we move that 20 meters and we can duration of one might be a little fast but you can change the duration to two seconds that'll slow slow the sphere down as soon as we reach our destination then we're going to set the sphere invisible again and we'll we can actually move it back to the car so we'll do another move to the car and we'll set the vehicle back as well vehicle of the sphere back to the car okay um, some of these can be done together to save some time so in a do together here we can do all three of these things in a do together at the end actually that's probably fine I guess it actually doesn't really matter maybe just get rid of that do together we'll just um Instead, we'll just have them all happen in zero seconds. So, zero seconds, set the opacity. It's important that it's set to zero seconds, otherwise the shooting will take a while, and uh, it kind of looks kind of silly, right? You, you push the button, and two seconds later, th it shoots. So, zero seconds. Move forward in one second, that's fine. Change the opacity back to zero seconds. Move to the car in zero seconds. and set the vehicle to the car in zero seconds. Now there's one thing that's going to happen here is we have no idea which way the sphere is pointing so when we tell the sphere to move forward uh, if, if it's forward is you know we're turning the car and even though we are you know have set the the vehicle to the car it's still they might not be pointed the same direction so what we want to do there then this will probably happen right before we do the sphere move is we want to orient them to the same thing. So we want to take the sphere and we want to orient the sphere to the entire car and again in zero seconds. Alright so there's our shoot. Now let's trigger it. We'll add a new event here when a key is typed. Now I think we'll leave this one as when a key is typed. Let's choose something like the V, the V key, because we already have space being a speed up. So let's make the V, um, v key be shoot. And what do we want to do? We want to run the cars shoot method. So let's try it out. We'll hit play. I'm not entirely positive this is going to work. So let's push the V key. All right, works pretty good. If we want it to be faster, we could change the duration to be shorter. If we wanted, or we could also change the the distance that we're shooting it to be further ahead. Let's move the car around. We should still be able to shoot while we move. Yep. Okay, so if we didn't unlink the vehicle, then as I shoot and I move, if we didn't unlink the sphere's vehicle from the car, then the bullet, the sphere actually moves with the car. So it's kind of, if you're getting that kind of a thing, like where you shoot and uh, and turn at the same time and your bullet turns with it, then make sure that you've unlinked the vehicle of the sphere from the car. So everything seems to be pretty good.
And I think now we could, let's give it a little bit more range. So 20 meters, let's say this is gonna be 40 meters. Okay, let's try it out. Nice. So you have to realize though that this bullet does have a range of 40 meters. If the thing you're, the target that you're trying to hit is more than 40 meters ahead, it will not hit it. Um, but other than that, it actually looks really good. So I think I'll do one last tutorial, my next tutorial. Uh, why don't we add a, a few items around where we have to go around and, and shoot them. And maybe they'll disappear when we shoot them. Okay, so in this tutorial we added a sphere that the car can now shoot. And that's all for today.